It's your boy Eric checking in with uh, with you guys uh, from Fat Line uh, today, uh, and so it begins. Today is the official beginning of my YouTube channel with really uh, content, uh, you know, based around these dogs and you know some RC content to uh, let you know helping people. Uh, you know, with the knowledge that I have on building a small program, uh, keeping your dogs healthy, uh, just different things that you need to know and understand when you're getting into breeding these dogs. Uh, and I'll be letting you guys just, you know, have an inside uh, track on how I run my program over here. Also, you guys will be uh, going with me in my reproductive lab that I run here at uh all bully kennels fat line uh amazing creations reproductive services uh we perform uh progesterone testing uh reverse progesterone testing artificial inseminations trans cervical inseminations uh semen analysis uh collection for uh semen uh to ship uh throughout the united states uh, fresh chill semen uh, so we do a lot in the uh, reproductive lab over there uh, actually today I'm gonna be taking you guys to in the reproductive lab with me today I have a couple of clients uh, that's coming through today one is for progesterone testing on his female that he'll be breeding with the stud I believe that's in Florida and uh, I have a female that's uh, breeding her uh, bulldog uh, today. So we'll be doing a, a trans cervical insemination, I believe, today on this uh, episode. So you guys will be here with me firsthand to uh, see how things go in the lab today. And uh, if you like this type of content, if this will help you in any way, like, subscribe, comment down below. Give me some ideas on some uh, uh, thoughts, some tips that uh, you guys might uh want uh and if i don't know about it i'll research it and i'll do uh, a video on it bring content to you guys so just to help to up the knowledge of the bully community uh and you know we're gonna keep it humorous we i'm not gonna be all serious uh with this uh and stress myself out because i might not be doing it right or whatever you know uh i just want to come and give you guys the knowledge that I have, let you see my beautiful dogs and uh, and my RCs too. <laughs> and you know, just uh, hopefully you can learn something uh, from me on this channel. Uh, it, like I said, if this is the type of uh, content that you like, uh, like and subscribe. If you wanna keep up with my dogs, uh, just like and subscribe. You're gonna be seeing all my dogs, uh, my different breedings that I'm doing my different pups that I have. Actually, I got pups outside now. They're outside because I can't shoot this video with them in here. It wouldn't be uh, silent. <laughs> it would be a whole bunch of background noise. But uh, anyway, you guys are coming with me to the lab today. We're waiting on our first client and it'll be a little while for me, but for you guys, we'll be right over there in the lab. Hello, what's good? Here we are in the lab. It's your boy E. Uh, as I said, we're going to be doing some progesterone, running the progesterone test today, and we'll also be doing uh, trans cervical insemination. So I just wanted to, you know, introduce you guys and welcome you to the lab. Uh, 
Nice. I get it. Nice one. Nice. There we go. That's all I need. Thank you, girl. Good girl. Let me know, bro. I got you yes, seed. Yes, sir. Got back in the lab, got the blood, finna put it in my uh micro centrifuge uh capsule and spin it down in my micro centrifuge. guys over here so you can see the micro centrifuge got the blood loaded up counterbalanced with some lotion and let that baby spin for about uh, eight minutes and I'll be back and we're back Got the plasma right here. It's separated from the blood. If you guys can see that the plasma at the top, the blood at the bottom. I've already drew out 15 ULs of the plasma. And now I'm finna draw out 75 ULs of the uh, buffer. My Pepitur put it with the uh, powder cake. Now I have to shake it to three times, knock all the fluid back down. Now I add the plasma to that mixture. Fifteen ULs of plasma. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Let's shake that. Now I have the progesterone test strip here. Taking my test strip, putting it over here. Grab my pipette, 75 ULs. Oh, hold on, wait a second. There we go, 75 ULs. Put it on my test strip. Oh. Now we come a little closer. Put it in the field well on my test strip. Now we will be putting it in the incubator. And in slot number two. Slide it in gently. And now we have to let it incubate for 15 minutes. And I'll be back once it's done. Okay, bully fam. While we're sitting here waiting on the uh the test to uh finish incubating, uh I wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit about progesterone and why progesterone testing is needed. In this line of business, in this bully game, uh, time is money and money is time. Uh, you, I don't like to have to repeat and do breedings over again uh, because clients are being cheap. Progesterone testing is the, test, the uh, testing of the level of estrogen in your female's blood level to let us know when the female ovulates and once she ovulates then you can plan your breeding accordingly uh once the female ovulates i breed 48 to 72 hours later so that's two to three days after the female ovulates i breed the female uh a lot of people try to wait until the female is a certain number oh we want her to be uh a 20 uh for a surgical or a 23 for a tci whatever uh that's not uh, the way that I've learned it. That's not the way that I go about it. I uh, progesterone test to identify when the female ovulates 
and once she's ovulated, meaning, meaning she's dropped her eggs, uh, I give them 48 to 72 hours, you know, to soften up so it's easier for the sperm to penetrate the eggs. And that's the way that I breed uh, dogs. Uh, a lot of people have different uh, theories on it. Some people still like to go by the old school book. Oh, breed her on the 11th and the 13th day. No, every female is not the same. Some females will spike quickly. Some females will take a long time to spike uh, and ovulate. So you can't just assume that this female is going to have been ovulated and uh, her eggs are softened enough to uh, actually breed her by just saying, oh, I'm a breeder on the 11th and the 13th day. No, uh, that's a recipe for failure. Uh, a lot of people uh, get into this and they don't realize that breeding costs, uh, breeding is expensive. Uh, if you don't have the money to breed, then maybe you shouldn't be breeding. Uh, progesterone testing is, uh, every time you do it thing like uh, if you go to a veterinarian uh, that progesterone tests at will uh, like each time you need a progesterone test man that's about a hundred bucks uh, I don't charge that here uh, so it's a more feasible for people and a lot of people like to use my service instead of uh, the veterinarian services because this is what I specialize in, so I'm more knowledgeable in it than more uh, most of their vets that don't even want people breeding. Uh, a lot of times, vets are not uh, with breeders. They, you know, want to overcharge us for things, but that's a whole nother story. But progesterone testing, if you want to be successful, is a necessary expense uh, that you have to incur you know, just to make sure that you're breeding your female on time. Most stud owners like myself, I won't ship out any semen unless you have progesterone numbers. Uh, I don't want to be shipping semen and you say, oh yeah, I think she's ready, she's flagging. No, I need to know what her progesterone levels are. And that's how much stud owners are. And you must keep us abreast of your female's levels. You just can't Oh, wait until she's on day uh, 10 or 11 and just say, oh, okay, now I'm gonna get a progesterone test. And then you get a progesterone test and she's at a, uh, a, 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 a 20 and you're like, hey, I need you to get me that semen now. Like, no, that's not how it works. Uh, you're putting the stud on there in a bad position because you were trying to be cheap or lazy uh, around, I'd say, day seven at least get your first progesterone test a baseline uh just to see where your female is if she's uh moving and she's already hit a lh surge uh because you don't want to put the stud on her up against it by giving him late notice of what your female's numbers are and also another good practice is to get your female progesterone numbers ran early in the day because FedEx stops shipping packages out, some at five, some at seven. So you wanna give the stud owner as much time as possible to get his stud collected if he has to get into his veterinarian to get his stud collected and then have to leave from there to go to FedEx to ship the semen to you. You wanna give him as much time as possible so he can do what he needs to do on his end to make the breeding successful on your end. So you as the owner of the bitch need to be on top of your progesterone testing and keeping the stud owner uh, aware of your female's numbers so he can, uh, especially if you're using a uh, heavily used stud, so the stud owner can have you on the list of breedings that's for that week. Uh, and you won't get left out or you know and, and feel like he should have shipped you the semen and you gave him late notice you know most breeders are not going to deal with it because uh oh you hit them up at seven o'clock talking about i need you to ship out the day for they say i need to breed it tomorrow so where am i where are they going to be able to go to get their stud collected if they don't collect their home themselves 
and then even if they do get the stuff collected and get it packaged uh to shipped out fedex has already shut down uh overnight shipping for the day so at best case scenario you won't be able to get the semen until the day after tomorrow and it's not his fault it's your fault because you weren't staying up on your progesterone testing and if you want your breed to be successful i would greatly suggest that uh, you progesterone test your female, keep the stud on a, a breast of her levels. So when it's time uh, for him to do the business on his uh, side of things, he'll have all the information he needs to have uh, the time that he needs to get his stud collected and shipped to you and uh, with some good semen so you can breed your female. And that's my tip on progesterone testing. Thanks. Okay, as promised, I'm gonna show y'all how I put together my puppy mix to get my puppies real nice and healthy after weaning them from the mom. So first we have, uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, this Dr. Roy's 40 Cal right here. This is a high calorie nutritional uh, vitamin. It's real good for pups to keep them nice and uh, thick. Uh, I got the large breed puppy science diet. Uh, it's got good protein in it, but it's a little bit lighter on the fat. So the fat, the extra fat that I'm in calorie content that I'm getting from the Dr. Roy's kind of offsets uh, the less fat in the large breed uh, puppy food that's easier on the puppy's joints. Also use the uh, puppy back uh, milk formula with vitamins and uh, microbials uh good for uh gut health of the uh, pup uh i order that from a uh, dog zymes uh, i also use canine puppy gold to me this is about the best uh supplement that you can get uh for your pup uh i order it off of amazon uh it is great and last but not least is the royal canine uh puppy uh starter uh it's a little meat for uh the pups and the mom so uh let me show you guys how i put my mix together just this camera a little bit all right so i'm gonna take me a scoop of dog food and put it in my little feeding dish for the pups, my little circular feeding dish. Okay, now I'm gonna take my puppy back and my canine puppy gold. I'm gonna take me a scoop of puppy gold and I put it in my little dish and I take two scoops of my puppy back milk replacer and put it in there i also i i use two scoops of this uh canine puppy gold i put another scoop directly on here okay now you guys have to come with me because i have to go get some water for this uh mixture Excuse the kitchen, but gotta do what I gotta do. Right. I just use lukewarm water for my mixture and I whisk it around. To mix it up good. Now back to my table. Okay.
Now we're back to the table. And we're mixing it up. Okay. Now I take my Dr. Roy's Healthy Bones. This supplement here, good for the dog's bones, structural integrity. I put about three scoops of that for the pups. Um, okay, get this milk ready. Then pouring, I pour about half of what I mix up in there because I'm going to have to make them dinner later because this is like their lunch meal. So I take the, uh, the canned meat from uh, Royal Canaan the starter and I'm just going to mix it in here around okay no I don't put my puppy's food in the blender either because pups usually are teething when I already want by the time I'm weaning them off the mom at the uh at the 5 week mark so they've developed teeth already so I find it better just to soften the food with uh with warm water and the, instead of like turning it into straight mush the pups like it better it's a easier uh it's easier for me put a little bit more milk in here okay and it's easier for me so that's this is the way that I do it I ain't saying it is the way that everybody do it but it's worked for me i don't have any complaints on how my pups look okay now i'm finna put a little bit of this high calorie supplement in there okay boom now we got that did finna mix this on up then when I put this on the ground, the puppies are going to go crazy over it. But whatever they leave, their mama Nanu is lurking and ready to eat the rest of it up. <laughs> but it's the uh, it's good for uh, both mom and the pups. So it's no biggie. It's just that I have to make more of it because she want to just eat this instead of her regular food. Okay, puppies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, y'all see that food down there? Yeah, puppies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all a better angle of pups. Girls run up on me, they done. Money line, I'm a renegade. 